Hi guys, it's Alexandra and I have got Ben Woodhouse with me on the couch. Ben is a recent addition to our sales team who joined us as a BDM earlier this year, but has come um, with a wealth of experience and knowledge into this space. So we're really excited to have him here at Gallery. Um, obviously you've joined Gallery in a really fantastic market. Um, this time last year, we were looking at market conditions where I think a lot of people were talking about, I'm gonna wait and see what happens in the market. What's happened in the market is then 14 consecutive months of property growth. Um, so for the investors or for the sales partners that were like, we're just gonna wait and see what happens into the, um, what happens in the property market. <laughs> what would you be saying to them now? Uh, why did you wait? Look what, look what the results were. And for somebody who did wait, what would you be saying? Uh, now's the time. It's not gonna get any better than today. Is always the, the same answer, really. Yep. And I know one of the, when we were talking before you joined us, um, there were a couple of, well, I think it was probably Gallery's Reputation One, but it was really more the fact that you had sales partners that were looking for property types for different types of investors. Yep. That was one of the things that I think you and I connected over was the fact that, you know, traditional homes still are a fantastic opportunity for clients, but really the properties where you can protect the investor with, you know, um, high yielding properties or cash flow positive properties such as co-living, dual dwellings and SDA homes, I think was a big draw card for you. And I know that you're spending a huge amount of time out at our Logan Reserve co-living display. Um, what is it that you're, what is it that works so well with that sales tool for your key referral partners? Um, seeing it and experiencing being in the home and like shared living is not a new concept. Gallery were probably the first ones that I saw that actually productized it in the market. Yep. Um, and that was, you know, a few years ago now. Um, for me, it's, and even taking normal families through the home um, that weren't really looking for investment, looking for a family home, even that design itself, um, it, it appeals to them because they go through and their kids are running around. They're like, oh, well, they're all going to be older soon. Um, having an extra ensuite is, a, is an advantage. There's yes. no, uh, disadvantage and if you want to use it for investment purposes um, you know you can easily do either or. And it gives you that flexibility right you know and I think that's one of the things that I think sets us apart with our co-living design is that that design came about from a property that we were actually delivering already to owner occupiers which allowed for you know two master suites and a and a Jack and Jill um, ensuite where it gave multi-generational families longevity in the house and I think that's one of the things that sets apart our co-living homes is the exit strategy and how strong that would be because it's probably as wide as you can get in the marketplace right so that property you know if you were looking to unsell it you know 10 15 20 years you're either wanting to recycle the equity that property would sell into the second-hand investor based off yield, based off tenants secured and rental income, yeah. or if the property was at a point where you were able to remove some of those elements like the, the keypad locks to the individual bedroom doors, that is a really fantastic family home that could sell into the local market. Yeah, definitely. And you see it even initially with the valuations, um, even the value is recognised you know, the extra bathroom, the solar panels, all those things add value immediately and also assist with the exit strategy later. Right, so the value is being kind of recognised at the time of purchase yep. from the valuers. And then of course, you've got the benefit of securing a high cash flow property in a high growth location. And you've got the best exit strategy of any property type, I think, in Southeast Queensland. Yeah, there's no downside. Um, and I think in the last 12 months, a lot of that slowdown was investors were keen to still get into the market, but the interest rates versus the yields of traditional homes didn't quite add up. And that was probably our discussion when I came to Gallery was that you have this co-living product that bridges that gap. It gives them the yield um, that investors are looking for. So I think it's definitely the products that I prefer the most that we have here, to be honest. 